no hablo español, señor. Me gustaría mucho leer en las líneas de su mano. Para mí sería un gran placer. <laughs> yeah. No hablo español, señor. Can I be able to help? I don't know what this gentleman wants. His hobby is reading hands. Oh, I don't mind. Usted ha venido de muy lejos. Says you've come from a long way off. That's a bit obvious, isn't it? <laughs> but that your travels are nearly over. No, that can hardly be true. I have to go home. Reveo que he encontrado de nuevo con una persona que siempre le ha estado muy cerco. Puede que sea su mujer. It's a reunion. Someone uh, very close to you. Could be your wife, perhaps. So I have no wife. O puede que sea su madre. So it could be your mother. She's dead. Reveo a la muerte. He sees a, uh, a death, but it's far away from your heart line. It's not an important death. Gracias. Ah. Oh, do you believe in this nonsense? Uh, I guess not, but you know, I try to keep an open mind. Well, my name's O'Toole. James O'Toole. Mine's Pulley. Henry. You a Londoner, Henry? Yes. Yeah, I'm from Philadelphia. Do you mind if I join you? Are you uh, going to Asuncion, too? Uh, yes. Yeah, nowhere else on this ship worth a visit. Corrientes, that's a dump. <laughs> no one gets off there except for smugglers. <laughs> Not a smuggler, I guess. Uh, no. Uh, you seem to know these pops well. Too well. You on vacation, Henry? Yes, I suppose so. All by yourself? Well, that's not much fun. Strange country, and you don't even speak the language. Not that Spanish is spoken anywhere outside the city. In the uh, country, they all speak Guaran. Do you? Oh, a smattering, Henry. I am visiting an old relation of mine. Ah. Are you in business here? Well, not exactly. Uh, I do social research, you know, cost of living, malnutrition, degree of illiteracy. God, I need a drink. <laughs> Do you find things easy in Paraguay? I've, I've read in the papers that you Americans have lost trouble in South America. Not in Paraguay. We in the general are like that. Oh, I, I hear he's a tough dictator, so they tell me. Well, that's what this country needs, Henry, a strong hand. Don't mistake me, though, I keep out of politics. Simple research. That's my line. Uh, are you married, James? <laughs> yes, sort of. And uh, my friends call me Tulip. Have you a daughter? Yeah. Why? She's studying in London. She's in Kathmandu. Kathmandu? Well, that's in Nepal. That's a hell of a thing to tell me. How do you know? I told him all about the Orient Express. Oh. Huh. Well, what can I do, Henry? I mean, I got my work. I, I can't go chasing around the world. Lucinda. She didn't know the worry she gives. Lucinda, no, she calls herself Tuli now, like you. She does, well, that's new. She has a great admiration for you. She told me you were in the CIA. <laughs> She's a romantic. She imagines things. Is the CIA romantic? Well, a kid thinks so. I guess she found some report of mine marked secret. You know, anything secret that goes to a government agency. Did you know that we spend more than one whole day a year pissing? <laughs> Good heavens, is that what your research is? Are you drawing any conclusions? Oh, that's not my job. Just simple facts. I leave it to others to draw conclusions. Who are the others? Well, I thought when I completed six months' research, I'd get in touch with the urinary specialists. Those guys deal all the time with the sick. It's important for them to know what happens in the case of, you know, the average fellow. And you are the average fellow. Oh, yeah, I'm 100% healthy, Henry. Happy to be in my job. The CIA. <laughs> You're kidding, Henry. <laughs> you can't believe that crazy girl. <laughs> I gotta take a leave. <laughs>